it's really unique and inspiring. Every year, the exhibition is just so different. We have people come from all over the world that view this show and say they've never seen anything like it. Changing Threads is an opportunity for artists working within the textile field to really show how they're pushing the boundaries of the medium within their conceptual practice. There are some media in this selection here which challenge what you might think of as uh, fibre art. <laughs> we very early came to the conclusion that what we could do was, as part of our definition, would be anything that could be twisted or manipulated as if it was a piece of fibre. By stretching the wider sense of the word fibre, we started to have not only the natural fibres such as wool and silk and cotton, but we started to get things like fish skin and plastics and recycled wires. There's a lot of reused materials, there's a lot of unexpected materials, and it's just really exciting to see people really pushing and expanding the field of what is textiles. The criterion are fairly loose and that inspires artists from all types of backgrounds to enter. People pushing the possibilities and exploring issues such as sustainability, the environment, feminism, cultural appropriation, issues that are very much of our time. I think it's really important to have pieces in an exhibition like this which are not necessarily what people expect to see and absolutely what we didn't want was pretty pictures for the wall. They have to have some deeper meaning as well as being just an interesting idea. It also has really terrific financial prizes and there's not a lot of textile exhibitions within New Zealand that do offer such a range of prizes. I'd like to thank Benina who have been on board since day one. They saw the concept and saw the need for that and really got behind us. At Benina, we love to support anything that fosters creativity. And this show in particular is such innovative work. The CEO of Benina International actually flew out from Switzerland to come and see the show because he had had heard such good things about it. And in, he was indeed quite impressed. He said it's probably one of the best shows he's seen, which for someone who goes around the world seeing fibre shows, that's, that's quite something. So a nice feather in our cap, I think. There's nothing else quite like changing threads. They really encourage artists to push the boundaries between fibre arts and fine arts. And I think it's just incredible. So we love supporting that kind of work. We've got a new partner in Harcourts joining us this year and we're just really, really grateful for all the support that allows us to give a significant cash award every year. The arts community is at the soul of Nelson, I believe, so we need to keep that alive. Uh, so it's just doing our part in the, in the big scheme of everything that's going on. I'd also like to do a shout out to Benjamin Black, who's a goldsmith here in Nelson, who produces, he creates a wonderful um, piece of jewellery specifically for our People's Choice Award winner, which is a lovely little prize. It's not a cash prize, but actually the people that have won that in the past have treasured that. It's been a privilege watching the development of several artists that come through the show. Winning the Supreme Award in 2021 was a really affirming moment for my practice. It helped me to see that I was moving in the right direction and that my work had a really broad appeal. Being selected gave me the nourishment and confidence to further explore the arts, supported my journey into exhibiting a solo exhibition in 2022. It really opened me up to the world of arts as a practitioner. I think Changing Threads has been really important for allowing people to have the confidence to try new things in a new way and know that there's a place where they can exhibit. This year marks a significant milestone with our 15 year celebration. And it's highly significant for us this year because it's our last event with Ronnie Martin, our creative director at the helm, who has been fantastic, inspirational, and um, 
is leaving us with a, a wonderful legacy. She has made a huge, significant impact on the fibre and textile art community. Changing Threads wouldn't exist without Ronnie because it was Ronnie's idea and her concept and then her really hard work over these 15 years. She's a true creative director. She does a lot of things behind the scenes which people wouldn't even think about. Ronnie has a significant amount of energy and a huge passion for not just fibre and textile but art practice and she is one of the most encouraging uh, people that I know. I can't stress enough the central role and the central vision of what Changing Threads is and how open she's been to allowing people to explore their skills and to experiment. It'll be really interesting to see how Changing Threads evolves without her. I think it's exciting that possibility that it will keep going because it's a team thing, it's not, not about me and it's never been about me. For me I hope that the future of Changing Threads allows that gap between craft and fine art to, to narrow. We're really excited for the future and whatever direction that may take and we just really hope that we can make Ronnie proud. We're going to miss her terribly, you know? Yeah. My hopes is that it will carry on and grow. And I think with the talent of the people here based at Arts Council, I think that that's a strong possibility that it'll go on to even new heights. Um, and it's really exciting to see where it does go.